Before you install iOS 26 public beta on your beloved iPhone, you have to do this incredibly important thing first. Apple's released iOS 26 public beta for everyone, hence the public part of the name. This is beta software, which means it's not finished yet, hence the beta part of the name. Do not install it without understanding the risks. You may be thinking, what's the big deal? I like to live on the edge. Let's install iOS 26 public beta and never look back. I like you, you're an adventurer, but me, I'm a giant chicken and worry that things I use may not work with a beta. Who knows what bugs could interact with my precious apps? So before you do anything, before you install iOS 26 public beta on your beloved iPhone, you must do this incredibly important thing first. Back up your phone. You may be thinking, hey, I, as my iPhone backs itself up all the time, I've got nothing to worry about. Back up your phone. You may be thinking, hey, I, as I heard you, I'm just not gonna do that. Back up your phone. Now you're thinking, why do you keep repeating this? And I'll tell you why. There is no direct way to uninstall iOS 26 public beta. If you install it, the only way to go back to your old phone OS with all of your apps and your settings is to erase it and restore the phone from a backup. So back up your phone. To do that, go into your settings and search for backup. From there, tap the backup now option. While that's happening, sign up for the Apple beta program for free. Create an Apple account if you don't have one. Verify your email and phone number and boom, you're still not done. You just need to agree to the terms and conditions that you have read over and over again. Enroll your iOS device by clicking the link to do that. And what is at the top of the page? Archive a backup. Yep, do it. This is your last chance. Now all you've got to do is go to your iPhone, which has been backed up, right? Go into settings, tap general, tap software updates. Beta updates should be an option now. Tap that and choose the beta you want. This is the hardest part. You must wait while the OS installs. I could have sworn this took an eternity, but the clock said it took around 55 minutes. While we wait, let's make origami frogs. To make an origami frog, it's actually relatively simple. Take this corner and fold it in to the side. We're gonna make a giant triangle, okay? Crease that, good. Now you're gonna do the same thing to the other sides. A lot of origami projects have you tear off this part. You don't have to do that. So. Put your fingers here, and then you're gonna grab the top of this triangle. I know this looks awkward, but you can do it. And you can see that it's a little bit imperfect, but that's okay, frogs can be imperfect. So then, okay, so far we're getting somewhere. We're gonna take this triangle, we're gonna fold it up to the top at this point. These will be its arms. And we're gonna repeat that on the other side because origami has a lot of symmetry, at least the stuff I know. And these will become the legs. All you gotta do is add another fold. So remember, Fold this up, kind of meet the arms of the frog, fold it back. Now you have a jumping frog. After infinity passes and you've made 44,000 frogs, iOS 26 public beta should now be installed on your phone. Yep, that sure is glassy. Let's double check in the settings to see the version. Yep, that's iOS 26. If you're happy with that, enjoy, play around. I wish you the best of luck. Wanna know what iOS 26 can do? check out PC Mag or CNET, we've got this covered. However, if you want to uninstall iOS 26, here's what you've got to do. You must erase and restore your device. Any other way, here's what the Apple site says, quote, to remove iOS beta and install the current publicly released version of iOS, you need to erase and restore your device. So now it's time to go into your iPhone settings and erase everything. This will clear your apps, data, find my and wallet. You'll be asked if you're sure you can do this. Hit erase iPhone. It'll ask for your password, put it in. Now wait for deletion. You'll need a computer and iPhone cable for this next part, so go get those. If you don't have a computer, check out PC Mag's reviews to pick one. Connect your phone to your computer. With your iPhone, quickly press then release the volume up button. Then quickly press and release the volume down button. Then hold the side button until you see the recovery screen. You should see a message on your computer that says there's a problem with your phone. Click restore. It'll ask you again, are you sure you want to restore your phone to its factory settings? Stay calm. Hit restore and update. Then click through the pop-ups and read the terms of service. Now your phone is being brought back to iOS 18. When you set up your iPhone, you can restore it from the backup you made. And just like that, your phone is back to normal. If you did not want to try iOS 26 yet, you can avoid all of this by just doing nothing for a while. Just note that the final version of iOS 26 is expected later this year and you can't avoid the liquid glass taking over your phone. Also, if you've got a spare iPhone just sitting around, you can try the beta on that. 
iOS 26 is compatible with lots of iPhones going back as far as the iPhone 11. I want to know if you tried out the beta and what you thought of it. Did it change your world? Let me know in the comments or on social media or when you see me on the subway. Just tell me Ayaz sent me and then I'll say, I'm Ayaz Akhtar and you saw me online. Then you'll say the code word, what? And I'll say, tell me your iOS experiences, divulge details.